Former Justice Sandra Day O'Connor is being remembered tonight as a trailblazer. She died this morning in Phoenix, Arizona at age 93. O'Connor was the first woman to serve on the high court. CBS News correspondent Weijia Jang looks back at a remarkable life. I will do my best to serve the court. President Ronald Reagan put a crack in the glass ceiling when he chose Sandra Day O'Connor to serve on the nation's highest court. I will send to the Senate the nomination of Judge Sandra Day O'Connor of Arizona Court of Appeals for confirmation as an Associate Justice of the United States Supreme Court. The U.S. Senate unanimously confirmed her. It's all right to be the first to do something, but I didn't want to be the last woman on the Supreme Court. <laughs> Thank goodness for that. <laughs> She served for 24 years, paving the way for other female justices, four currently serving on the court. Born in El Paso, Texas during the Great Depression, O'Connor grew up on an Arizona cattle ranch. She graduated from Stanford with degrees in economics and law. She briefly dated William Rehnquist, who would eventually become Chief Justice of the United States before marrying John J. O'Connor III. When no law firm would hire her because she was a woman, O'Connor turned to public service. After raising a family, she got into politics and caught the eye of the White House. She is truly a person for all seasons, possessing those unique qualities of temperament, fairness, intellectual capacity, and devotion to the public good, which have characterized the 101 brethren who have preceded her. A moderate conservative who personally opposed abortion, O'Connor's key swing votes preserved Roe v. Wade. She successfully fought breast cancer in 1988. It was her husband's declining health that led to her resignation from the court in 2006. After stepping down, she devoted her life to teaching young people how government works. Most of our native-born Americans can't answer all the questions that we require of people from other countries who are becoming citizens. And her legal career wasn't over. Sandra Day O'Connor continued hearing cases on a part-time basis as a visiting judge. Weijia Jang, CBS News, Washington.